When I looked out at the world, all I could see was hate or a lack of love. And as an empath or cancer, as a free thinker, a liberator, and a leader, this had a major impact on me. I believed in some way it was my fault that I had failed. I couldn't help loved ones see how they'd been consumed by hate. And for me, there could be no greater failure than that. If the people in my life wouldn't see the truth as I spoke, then I knew that I had failed. I failed because they saw a drunk, they saw my chaos, and they lost respect. That's on me. But nothing had a bigger impact on me than my inability to create and manifest real love, especially within my personal relationships. I didn't think I deserved this. I didn't understand why I was losing when I had so much love to give. What was I doing wrong? I began to look within to try and find myself to realize my truth. Was there still a fairy tale left inside of me? For all I knew, the hero was gone. I've always believed I was supposed to be involved in some epic love story. And I know now, this is it. This is how my story begins. Me loving all of you. Sharing my failure, examining my love. I've always wanted to be a hero. I cry in movies at every selfless act. I cry when no one else is because I see the inspiration. I see the love. And I want that. I want love. And the further and further I felt from love, the harder each day became. I've experienced heartache after heartache, one failed relationship after another, and if each of which I've never fully recovered. Why was it so hard for these people to love me? And nothing hurt worse than believing I had failed my children and I felt resented. I wondered what people were saying to my children about me. Did they really know who I even was? And did I? What legacy would I be leaving them? I've always wanted to be a hero. And now, as a father, I realized I was undeserving. The hate and the negativity had consumed me. I was lost and alone, and eventually I gave up. I took a three month supply of sleeping pills. For sleep had become my only resource for happiness. And it was scary. I couldn't walk for nearly a week as a result. But a miracle happened. The phone rang. I don't know how long I was sleeping, but it woke me up. Just enough to call out for God. Paralysis was already upon me. I couldn't move my arms or my legs. So answering the phone was not an option. But I knew who to call. And so I prayed. I asked for forgiveness. Then a miracle. And with God's grace, I managed to lean to one side and I started puking up everything. And I mean everything. A river of my liquidated pills, of course, but then all of the hate, all of my sadness. I puked up all of the wickedness that resided inside of me. See, in my prayers, I finally asked God to destroy my demons. And in doing so, I asked him to send me angels to take their place. Slowly but surely, love began to fill the void. And I cried. I was thinking of my children. I decided it was time to work on my legacy. I know there were more people in this godforsaken world just like me. There's more like me than not. And God showed me my higher purpose that day. 
It is my calling to find those people and help. I know the first thing I need to do is heal. In doing so, I changed the scenery. I simply pushed myself out the door. I went for a walk. I'm going to find like-minded souls. Together we will form our own super team. We're going to all become heroes. After all, I know this because God saved me so that we can begin. I'm doing so. I'm ready to finally change and chase after my dreams. I want to be a writer. I have too much life experience not to be. In the past three years, I've gained 80 pounds. I know now that God gave me a perfect body and, and this mind to show you this epic transformation and it's really so simple. And you get to witness everything. Just have a little faith and stay connected to your, your truth and love. God bless us. God bless us all. God bless us everyone. Let's all become heroes. <clears throat> now a man without a purpose is hardly anything at all. The mind becomes his chaos, and the chaos corrupts his soul. And a soul is not easily defeated. Though we are imperfect, we are natural seekers of truth. Now every man has his potential, and it's attractive until it's not. Eventually, we need to embrace it and mold it into our truth. Decide who you are or who you want to be and fake it till you make it and it will manifest eventually. So get up, get out of bed, and start your day off right. Even in the simplest of things, we begin to reveal the light. Make a list of actions to guide you on your way. Check them off accordingly and recognize how that made you feel today. What is it you will do to make your dreams come true? Continue going through those emotions until they become a part of you. I'm going to become a writer although it's much harder than I thought. But if each day I take some action, then one day I can look at all the battles I have fought. I may not win each day, but each day I begin anew, like a tiger pouncing on its prey. Someday soon I'll see how much I grew. The reward is not the product. It's the journey that you're on. It's the presence of your struggle and the tribulation and perseverance on your quest. Those are the things that give you goosebumps when you sincerely do your best. The best thing you can do is have a little faith in yourself. Don't take the shortcuts of convenience you'll inconvenience your mental health. It's okay to take a break. It's okay to seek your higher self. Don't get caught up in all the negativity. Instead, use it to improve your health.
I didn't want to be a burden once I was welcomed into your home. So I hired myself in the kitchen and tried to contribute where something was missing. I cooked and cleaned and did the simple things. I'm not a lazy person. I just got really lost. I lacked the inspiration and for that I paid the cost. But I can be productive if there is a sense of purpose in it for me. I can't go work for others. That's not the person I want to be. Don't lose sight of the bigger picture. Don't get trapped by your routines. Trust me when I tell you the measure of your success is in more heavenly things. You don't have to feel broken. It's okay to be who you are. Search for others like you and together you'll go far. I'm not doing anything courageous. I'm only becoming who we all are. Such a beautiful, loving creation, yet imperfect with our fallacies. Don't get stuck believing complacency is happiness. Go beyond your contentment. Search for your higher purpose. Listen for your inner wisdom. God is waiting for you. And if the day wasn't a success, then rinse off what didn't work for you. Tomorrow is a new day to manifest something new. Hey guys. Hi, Al. There she is. It was taking care of these idle hands and making sure that I could protect myself in a, in a way to keep myself busy so I didn't turn to the bad habits and drink or choose soil back up real quick then I'm gonna put this irrigation back together and run it for you guys this is the sun the thing that I was most excited about for whatever reason the water outpour here that wasn't being utilized so I found a way to tie into that trench it underground and then come up through the side of the bed and it's actually pretty nice uh, run the irrigation on a timer so didn't have to in such worry. a way Lay the main line down across there. And then we'll trench out. Not all of these, see the thing is with these lines, some of them can go right above like these ones stab up and I'll show you when I'm all done but they'll spill the water. These are meant to be reflectors. Tenant for these 
looks like sunlight. Scare off the birds. Didn't go very well, so then I got some windmill reflectors. <sighs> Helped a little. But those birds took advantage of me in my new beginnings. Well guys, I am finally ready to reveal my plan. It's complicated. The gist of it being, I'm gonna go for a very, very long walk. I'm currently in Prescott Valley, Arizona, where my mother lives, from Iowa, and I'm a country boy at heart. I'm gonna walk all of Route 66 back to Des Moines, Iowa. But first I'm gonna stop in Kansas City and start a project with one of my dear friends, Cree. This is something that's been building for a while now, but Pin, Cree, and I are hoping to take fitness, nutrition, and mental health awareness to the next level. I'm gonna walk 1,400 miles back to the Midwest, Kansas City, Des Moines, with intentions of meeting like-minded people, finding lost souls, people that are struggling. If you see this and you're interested in joining me, you are welcome. Unfortunately, all of Route 66 isn't there anymore. So I may not be that easy to find, but I assure you, if you're willing to try, you will find me, because I will find you. God will make sure that happens. The journey is about transformation. It's about me conquering my demons. Instead of sitting and sulking, waiting for the next drink or the next temporary fulfillment, whatever that looks like, Netflix, binge, eating food, whatever. I'm doing something different because I know that it's gonna give me that everlasting fulfillment. I wanna be a better person for my children. I wanna be a better person for myself. I wanna be a better person for the next person I ever, maybe if I ever have another relationship. It's time for me to learn how to love myself again. And the beauty of it all is it's really, really simple. By sharing my truth and love, I'm not gonna be fake. I'm not putting on any masks anymore. This is real. I'm connected to a stream of consciousness that's available to everybody. It's your God consciousness and it's inside of you. Everybody has an inner voice, you know you do. And anytime you have that emotion or you feel guilty for doing something, that's probably because you gave into temptation. You've listened to the evil one. Anything that's connected to a sub, sub, subconscious expectation or, or a conscious expectation that, you're, that you understand is there, those negative emotions are a result of you knowing better. You shouldn't be doing that. We're not perfect. We're not made to be perfect. That's why Jesus died to protect us, to protect us all from sin and the imperfect human but you all have capabilities. It's there, it resides inside of you. God's consciousness, that is your inner voice. That is God, when you feel great about something, you're on the right path. When you feel bad about something, you're not on the right path. That being said though, enjoy the journey. Learn from your mistakes. It took me a long time to realize that. It's okay that I failed. It's okay that I'm not winning. It's okay that I'm codependent. It's okay that I'm borderline personality. It's okay that I, struggle with uh, alcohol abuse. I don't like using the word addict, but society says that I'm an addict, an alcoholic. That's okay. Embrace who you are. It's time for you to love yourself. Truth and love will set us all free. I'll see you out there on Highway 66. What's up, guys? Is this working? Yeah. So one of the things that I've learned now is if 
something ain't feeling right, if you're feeling down, lost, and alone, sad, whatever, change your scenery, change the setting, get up, simply go for a walk. And in doing so, keep your head up, make eye contact with those that you pass. Maybe a reason for it, maybe a higher purpose. People don't cross your path coincidentally. Nothing's coincidence. Say hi, see what happens. The most important thing, if you're feeling down, let's go for a walk. Take a walk, try something else. Mix up your routines. Don't keep doing the things that got you down in the first place. For me, I got stuck. I laid in bed. I gave up. And now, I'm ready to pursue all things. I'm going to change the world because I want to change my world. My perception of the world is going to change. And I hope more and more people do the same thing for themselves. I want to be a writer. It's my passion. I know it. And when I, all these different things that destroy me are in the way, I love it. I have pure joy in writing. All kinds of writing, fantasy, informing, all of it. I want to do it all. And I'm going to do that now. Because I finally got out of bed and I went for a walk. See you out there. Say hi. And now, a poem by the real Doug Norris. Twas a beautiful night, the moon was bright, and the stars were dancing in the sky. A breeze of air flowed through her hair, and the stars were twinkling in her eyes. A shooting star shot across the sky, begging me for a wish, but hesitation miscast my hopes, and I reeled in a doubt-filled fish. The fish said, Wishes cannot compete with fate, for they do not compare. If it is a mate you seek, you'll have to look elsewhere. And as the fish swam away, it was all that I could hear, the tiny waves of water and her breathing in the air. I tried to break the silence while still gazing all around, when off beyond the shoreline, a sideways tree looked upside down. As startled as I was, the tree began to speak. You'll have to listen up, boy. My branches are rather weak. A confusion resides inside me, of which direction I should seek. You see, I came from the ground, but beautiful skies I have seen, not knowing of which to choose. Now sideways I must lean. I wasn't sure what to say, now gazing back into her eyes. As I searched through my thoughts, I found my way towards compromise. As my heart began to sink, just before I began to drown, something amazing happened, and I stopped feeling down. Now I tried to catch the tears of which were slithering down her face, these serpents of sorrow leaving wet memories in their place. I remember the fish, and I remember the tree, and trying as I could, I understood what was best for me. So I placed my arm around her, and I looked back up into the stars. I took a deep breath in and shared the moment that was ours. When I opened my eyes, the moon was looming down at me. He threw in a witty wink and spoke, singing with his glee. Oh, this beautiful night being shared by two, such a dramatic friendship, oh, whatever should I do? Ah, I know, my wishes all come true, so I wish for my wishes to be given to you. I thanked the moon for his kind ways, but made no wishes for better days. I thought for a while, as I held her much tighter, then answered the moon while the nightlight grew brighter. How could I wish for a better way when I'm living a dream I have every day? My arms around her, her head's resting on my heart. I cannot fathom a better way for all of this to start. And so now it begins, a test for all time. I will await here patiently for her fate to be mine. And as dawn approached, I took one last look into her eyes. I said, you know what I'm feeling, and smiling, she cried. A beautiful moment for our history, and one we'll always share. For the moments in our future, our hearts are now aware. So for now, it is merely friendship of which will always be true. But perhaps in our future, one love could become two.
Hey guys. Now I hope you all enjoyed the last episode here of uh, Let's Become Heroes. Right now I want to take a second and illustrate the three critical ingredients this, docu this documentary intends to reveal. Now I believe if each of us prioritize our fitness, our nutrition, as well as work on our mental health awareness, we can each become the heroes we were destined to be. Now, I don't know if you know this guys, the suicide rates are at an all time high. So I'd like to take a second and share the suicide hotline with all of you. And I'll disclose that now. If you or someone you know are struggling with mental health, please reach out to someone, tell somebody, help somebody, what other side you're on. Oftentimes these situations are silenced because we are simply unaware. I sincerely believe by focusing on the big three, fitness, nutrition, and mental health awareness, we can drastically improve and fight against the suffering in the world. So please, please stop judging people. Leave that up to God and God alone. I promise you, we often walk by the highlights of our day because we are so blinded by our routines. Perhaps a homeless person may be the sweetest soul you ever speak to or a drug addict, the most intelligent person you ever communicated with. So instead of hate, let's try and lift each other up with a little truth and a little love. Thank you. Thanks for watching. God bless.